guys, this is Bridget from the DeVay Homestead. Welcome back. Today we have this super easy knit hat. It looks really complicated, but it's actually a super easy hat. And it's great for beginners, intermediates, or advanced. The pattern is a really easy stitch of three knit, three purl. So the only techniques you need to know are knit and purl but we get this really awesome weave effect. For the brim of the hat, I did a rib stitch using the U-wrap method, which I'll show you in the video. So we used a one by one, one knit, one purl rib stitch using the U-wrap on the brim. And then for our hat, we used three knit, three purl, three knit, three purl, all the way around. So I did that for three rows, and then for the next three rows, I switched it and did three purl, three knit, three purl, three knit, all the way around. And every three rows, I just switched it back, three knit, three purl. Next three rows, three purl, three knit. So that's where you're gonna get this alternating block that looks like a really cool waffle weave. First, let's start our cast on and we're going to do our double E-wrap cast on. If you would like a different cast on, you can do that as well. So first we're going to do a slip knot and we're going to place the slip knot on our anchor peg. Then we're going to do our double E-wrap cast on. To do the double E-wrap cast on, you're just going to double E-wrap each peg and knit off. And you're just going to do that all the way around. So finish your cast on and meet me back here. Once your cast on is complete, you're ready to start your U-wrap rib stitch. So to do our U-wrap rib stitch, we're going to knit the first peg using our U-wrap, and then we're going to purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, all the way around, and that's going to give us the rib effect. So to do the U-wrap, so if you remember from other videos, you probably started out with an E-wrap. An E-wrap was where we went around the peg from the back, and it looked like a cursive E. Well, for the U wrap, you're gonna come from the front of the peg and you're gonna wrap the peg almost like a half wrap. So I'm gonna show you that like this. So as you can see, that looks like a U when you're wrapping the peg. So you're gonna take your yarn, U wrap the peg, and knit off and then you're gonna to come to your next peg and do your purl. Your purl is where you take your hook underneath the loop that is on the peg. You're gonna grab your working yarn and pull it up. You're gonna take the old loop off the peg and put the loop, new loop back on and gently pull. So we've done a knit and a purl. Now we're just gonna start that pattern over again. With our U-wrap, we want to make sure that we're not doing it too tight. Just by default, the U-wrap can get very, very tight. And it can get so tight that it's going to pull on your pegs and it's going to get really hard to work with. And it's going to make your band, the brim of your hat, really super tight. So we just want to make sure that we keep our tension not too tight when we're doing our U-wrap. So we're back to our U-wrap knit stitch. So we're going to half wrap the peg. and knit off. Bring it to the next peg and purl. New loop on. Okay, knit using our U-wrap and purl. 
and we're just going to work this pattern all the way around for how, oh, sorry, see, wasn't paying attention and I'm so used to doing the E-wrap and that can happen when you switch when you're always used to doing one pattern. So this is our U-wrap, knit off, and purl. So you want to complete this row using the same pattern, knit, purl, knit, purl. So finish off your row and then meet me back here. So I'm just finishing up my first row. When you finish your first row, you can go ahead and take your starting yarn off of your anchor peg and just push that to the back. And we're just going to leave that for when we finish the hat, we will weave that in. So row one is finished of our rib stitch. So for this hat, I'm going to do eight rows, which will give me about two inches or so. You can make your brim as short or as long as you would like, but I'm going to make this one eight eight rows. So finish off your next seven rows and then meet me back here and we'll work on the body of the hat. I just finished the eight rows for my brim using the U-wrap rib stitch. For the body of our hat, we're going to be using the E-wrap knit stitch. So anytime I mention a knit stitch from here on out on the body, it's going to be the E-wrap, which I'll show you in just a second. So this, like I said in the beginning, is a really, really super simple pattern. We have 36 pegs and we're going to do three knit, three purl, three knit, three purl all the way around. So we're doing that six peg repeat six times around so it comes out perfect. So for three rows, we're gonna do three knit, three purl, three knit, three purl, all the way around three times. Then we're gonna reverse that and do three purl, three knit, three purl, three knit. And that's gonna give us that block changing on our hat. So we're gonna do the three knit, and then when we switch to the three purl, it's gonna give us a different block. So for the first three rows, is three knit three purl. So for the E-wrap knit stitch, we're going to take our yarn behind the peg and we're going to wrap it around like that. So if we look like this, it looks like we just made a cursive E, which gets its name E-wrap. So I'm going to E-wrap three pegs for our knit stitch. I'm not going to knit these off right now. You can if you would like, but I prefer to leave them on there and come back after I finish the whole row and knit them off. That way if I leave my project and go do something else and I come back, I can see where I'm at. So I'm just going to e-wrap the first three pegs and then I'm going to purl the next three pegs. And I like to keep a little notebook next to me to mark off which row I'm on so I don't get confused with if I'm starting with E-wrap or purl. So I just knit it three, purl three. Now I'm going to E-wrap for my next three knit stitches. And then I'm going to purl the next three all the way around. So I just finished up my three, my third row of my knit three, purl three, knit three, purl three. Now I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to do three purl, three knit. And I'm going to do this repeat for three rows. So all together we have a six row repeat. 
three knit, three purl for three rows, and then three purl, three knit for three rows. So now I've done three purl, and I'm gonna do three knit. All the way around for three rows. So go ahead and finish up your three rows of doing the three purl, three knit, and meet me back here. I am just finishing up my third row of my three row repeat. When I end this row, since I am ending on a knit stitch, I always go ahead and knit these off, otherwise your yarn would just unravel. So I'm gonna knit off my last row So now I've done six row, rows of my body. I did three knit, three purl, three knit, three purl, and I did that for three rows, and then I did three purl, three knit, three purl, three knit for three rows. So that's a six row repeat. So I'm gonna start that all the way from the beginning and just keep repeating those six rows until I get to the length of hat that I want. And I can stop just at any point in my rotation. I don't have to finish off those six rows. I will say though, when you get to the point where you want to stop before you do your drawstring bind off, I suggest you do one row of just your e-wrap knit off. It just makes your drawstring bind off just a little bit better. So go ahead and start that repeat over again with your three knit, your three purl for three rows, and then your three purl, three knit for three rows to your final length and then meet me back here for our drawstring bind off. I just finished the last round of my waffle hat and now I'm ready for the drawstring bind off. For this hat I ended up doing six complete rounds of our six row repeat. Then I went around one row with an e-wrap knit off and now I'm going to do my drawstring bind off. Then we're gonna take the tail that we started with from the beginning and we're gonna thread that onto our yarn needle. And we're gonna weave this one into our hat. First, we're gonna weave it in a little and then make a knot. So what I did is I just weaved it in a little bit away from the edge of the hat and then I'm just going to find a loop that I can make a knot through to secure my yarn. 
I'm just going to tighten that up. And then I'm going to weave in my thread and I'm going to make one more knot. Sometimes I make one knot and sometimes I make two knots. It just depends on how secure I feel like the first knot was. It's your preference on how many knots you'd like to make. And then I'm just going to weave the ends in the hat so they won't the it won't be hanging. And I weaved it in to where it doesn't show. So instead of taking the yarn and weaving it in, say, over here, and then you would have this big loop, you want to keep your weaving close together so that it hides your yarn. And your hat is complete. This is the inside. So you want to turn it back right side. And there we have it. So we did this pattern on our rib stitch and you kind of want to stretch it out a little bit when you do the u-wrap and it'll kind of work itself into the nice little ridges see how beautiful that looks so cute and then of course you have your waffle weave So this is a hat that is super cute, textured, but easy to do. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.